So DC Entertainment is getting an overhaul. Should you even care? Hey, what's up, nerd fam? This is your boy. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, we're going to be talking about another Variety article for which they're actually speaking on a possible complete overhaul of the DCEU or just DC Entertainment in general. So that could be animated films, the feature films, uh, whatever's in HBO Massive streaming service, all of that. Now, in this article, they mentioned a couple of key things. And really, it's about, well, a lot of people are, are seem to be very excited about the fact that they're talking about certain properties like Superman and other underutilized properties and or characters that should be made more prominent. Now, um, I understand why that could be very, very exciting, especially because uh, I think his name is like uh, David Zaslav. I could be saying it wrong. Uh, he's talking about also building consistency. Uh, and this is the one thing that I actually did like. He talked about there being, you know, somebody at the head to really curate like a Kevin Feige for the MCU. Because, look, I have long been critical of the MCU's, like, what their vision is. But at least they have a vision. And the DCEU has long just been very scatterbrained. I'll do this. You'll do this. This person will do this. But it doesn't really come together. And then they're supposed to be making some type of Flashpoint movie to, you know, fix it all. But even whatever they were thinking there might be scrapped, especially if it didn't include a lot of these other heroes like Superman, even though I heard it was a rumor he was going to get killed in the Flashpoint movie. But whatever. Who knows? I think everything is kind of up in the air at this point. Now, some people might get excited because, once again, they heard the whole Superman thing and everyone's wanted that to be back. But when I read this article, this gentleman is just about, obviously, the business, which I get it. You have to make your bottom line. But it's not, he wants to use these characters because he knows their recognizability. But it doesn't talk about how they're going to use them, which to me is the biggest crime that's been done. It's not just about putting out Superman. It's about how is that Superman portrayed? Do you care about how he is in the comic book? And do you want to bring what people love and fans love about that, that hero onto the big screen? That's something that I'm really worried about. He also mentioned things like Todd Phillips' Joker and even like Peacemaker, which are night and day very different things because Peacemaker kind of, it still exists within this DCEU. And Todd Phillips' Joker was like an Elseworlds story that people appreciated because it was self-contained and it was good for what that was. I've long since held the belief that DC should be doing a lot of just self-contained uh, projects because they seem to be doing the best. Even the brand new Batman movie which seems to exist within its own universe is more narratively sound than pretty much everything else that came before in terms of what's in the dceu um i know they want to keep on going with gal gadot's wonder woman and stuff like that but it's like at one point even though once again i didn't like Zack snyder's view at one point things were kind of curated underneath him because he was you know also instrumental in wonder woman they had him talking to the guy that that did Suicide Squad. He was even helping out with Suicide Squad. So a lot, a lot of the DCU, like the, I'll say the formative years of it were all from him. And now they're trying their best to move away from, from Zach. But now with them doing that, it's become more and more disjointed. And even things like Black Adam, I'm not even sure how that really makes sense and fits into it. But if we get something more consistent out of this, just from a film standpoint and storytelling, I can appreciate that at the very least. However, I don't have my hopes up that they're just going to be doing justice to all these characters because a lot of these big studios, that comes last for them. It's just, how do I get a whole bunch of people in these seats? And if I can use Superman, which has probably one of the most recognizable names on the planet, I'm gonna use him. But my friend actually made a very good remark about this, which is, what if, or take, I'll say, if it's Superman, what if it's not Clark Kent Superman? What if it's like Val Zod Superman? What if they do that? Which is still not something like immensely liked by comic book readers. Yes, there are some comic book readers that like Val Zod, but most of them don't, all right? 
because me i prefer just a whole bunch of if we're going with black characters i prefer original ones and if that was something they were going with like if i heard this guy say we have a whole library of original characters we haven't touched that made me go holy crap oh this person's paying attention but it doesn't really seem like that's where it's about it's like we've got a lot of famous characters that we could be using and they're not out there yet so you know we're gonna get the green lanterns he's probably gonna be looking at a lot of like the dc animated stuff and go let's use everything that comes from there and try to put that into feature film as well which is not um stupid it's intelligent in terms of of business but there needs to be some creative aspect in there as well as far as a person who can blend what makes these characters well like what makes them well loved by the readers and people who have been you know putting so much time and effort into reading and buying these uh the licenses or not buying the licenses but supporting the licenses um, and making the company money. I think he said he wants to have like 3 billion. He wants to try to make 3 billion with all of these. And hey, that can definitely be done because they're, they're constantly trying to chase the MCU, which is not a bad goal, but you have to understand it. There's an old saying that success leaves clues. So you have to look at what successful people have done within the same medium and try to emulate that. The if DCEU initially was trying to, no, no end credits. We're not going to, you know, we're just going to go straight to the big team up. We're not going to try and build these characters up. That wasn't a good idea. Recognize that. Play the long game. Learn from those mistakes and invest in the characters. Invest in them. And also invest in the fans who have been long supporting the characters before they were even in movies. That's, I think, where you'll make your, your biggest return. Let me know. What do you think about this? Are you excited about this overhaul? What do you think this overhaul really, really means? Or do you think that this is just going to be more of the same exact thing? Um, either perspective I want to hear, let's talk about it in the comments. Until then, keep on reading these comics. Keep on up with these uh, weird articles. And remember to enter the nerd.